back to the Real and Real show. We up here in Diamond Cuts Barbershop with owners Eric Edward and Samuel Blunt. Thank you fellas for joining us, man. It's taking no time, time no problem. Schedule for us, man. We're just gonna ask you, man, how did y'all get started in the business, man? After I went to college and that didn't work out too well, so I, you know, started back cutting hair, and from there, I went and got my license through apprenticeship, working up under my aunt. Ever since then, just pretty much just been working towards, you know, my goal now was to get a barbershop. Me and my friend Sam Blunt, we did the same thing, you know, pretty much. I let, I let him, you know, tell you a little bit more. Same thing, I started out working with his uncle. Um, I think I started working with him back in 2004. I went to college, came back home, didn't work out. It's time to start, find a job. So I picked up that trade as um, cutting hair. Met my man E, we worked together for a few years, and then, you know, we talked about opening up the shop, and then one day it just all clicked together, you know. It worked out pretty good. Tell us how long y'all been in business? How long y'all been over here? We've been over here two years in June. It's August now, so, you know, we've been over here a little bit over two years. So it was, to me, a little more specific about the thought process about getting the business started, man. What you have to go through to get it going with you? Ready. It really wasn't that hard, but you had to put in some work. It was a lot more stuff that I didn't know about that I had to go, you know, and learn basically, you know. But different paperwork just to be able to get a business, you know. And there's so much stuff that you have to go into, you know. It's a process. It's definitely a process. As far as like opening up a shop or whatever, you want to make sure that you have enough money, you know, to do what you have to do. Like when we first started, we knew me, I cut hair, and Eric cut hair, so we knew that we, we was going to pay booth rent. We had his little brother working here, Clyde we knew he was going to pay booth rent, and that's it, you know, so it was like, you got to go in with a plan, you know, open up a barbershop, you got to go in with a plan. One man ain't going to be able to do it by himself, you're going to have to go in with a plan. What's your future plans for the business? The plan is to open up a barbering school, barber college. So you graduate from the school, you'll be able to go straight into job placement. It's hard to make money when you first begin starting this trade right here. But if you got somebody guiding you and kind of leading you on what to do, it's easier. So, you know, try to really be there for the young barber. What tips would y'all have for young entrepreneurs either just graduating high school or just getting out of college that got dreams of starting their own business? Man? I would say you have to make it your job. If you trying to, whatever you trying to do, you have to really work hard at it. And you, you know, whatever it is, if you don't work hard, you basically just sitting back and waiting for something to happen. Nothing's gonna happen if you don't put no effort. You know. So make sure that you got enough money to start the business and to maintain the business for at least a year. You ain't gonna know whether you can do it unless you try it. You ain't gonna always win. Sometimes you gotta lose. So you know, that's part of it. Yeah, you, you gotta have a plan. You gotta have a plan. You can't just go into nothing blind. Just uh, go ahead and let us know everything y'all offer here at Diamond Cuts, man. We do all haircuts, temp phase, do eyebrows for the ladies, you know. Oh, oh different designs, you know, different styles. Whatever you need, you pretty much can do it. Man, let everybody know what to come to on Saturday afternoon. Oh, 3230 Panthersville Road, Decatur, Georgia. Come check us out right across the street from uh, the college, uh, Perimeter College, you know, Decatur campus. Come check us out. We'll hook you up. Everybody in here tight, and everybody in here get you right. Everybody in here work. <laughs> That's how we do it. Right. Take it easy, man. Appreciate you, man. All right. Why do black people like their food so well done? Don't they know that burnt is too done? It's not Cajun. It's burnt. Niggas. Extra well done steak. Welcome back, back people. Back to the season finale of the Really Real Show with John and Wes. Yes, In case you don't know, I'm Wes. This is my partner, John. And we are recording wow. live from the Mabel's oh Restaurant. My God. If you haven't been to the man, Mabel's so restaurant cool, at 3316 Snapfinger Road, uh, you need to come. Right now. Ass app. Right now. Get your barbecue pork, your brisket sandwiches, your smoked sausage chicken, sandwiches, chicken, ribs, ribs spedgies. Spedgies on deck. Spedgies. Oh, oh man, we. I hate so much, man. We're gonna keep it moving right along, man. We're gonna get inside. 
It's Curdy Vicious. Let y'all know what's going on in the world of entertainment, sports, and, and all that good stuff. Uh, y'all know the BET Awards is, is going on right now. The BET Hip Hop Awards. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now your, your, your favorite artist, Lil Wayne, of yeah. course, is leading the, no, the nominations with, with 18 of them. Drake, Ross. The, the usual, Ross. the unusual suspects, yeah. as we so call them. Um, what else you got going on, John? Uh, man, what we got here, man? You know, the King just got out the other oh, day, yeah. man. King might make an appearance on the awards, man. He went revealer yesterday, man, on his interview. Uh, what else, man? Jay-Z and Kanye coming to Atlanta, man, at uh, the end of the month. October, they got two Where shows going at? on. Um, Phillips Arena, as far as I'm concerned. I believe they say Phillips Arena, man. Two shows, I think it's 29th and the 30th. Uh, October, man, so. That may be good. You better get your tickets, that man. Watch good. the Throne Tour. Kicking off in Atlanta, actually, you know, so that's gonna be that's gonna be a real big show, man. Um, let's see, let's go to your sports real quick, man. We got the in, in the Major League Baseball playoffs done started. The Braves ain't done. Yeah, Braves. I don't know yet. They ain't done. Them Yankees uh, are in it. I told y'all at the beginning of the season or one of these shows, I told somebody that the Yankees was going to the show. We could tell you. Yanks and the Phils is leading the way for their respective leagues, man. Philly, uh, I, NBA lockouts still going on. They canceled the preseason. I mean, uh, everybody stuck there. You know, um, Stars is going overseas. That's the bigger story now. They got Kobe trying to go to Italy and Turkey and that's all kinds of places. Just get that overseas ball. Money. You know, you getting three million for ten games. It's big money, big business. You know, uh, let's see. NFL is in full fledged. College football in full fledged. Falcons put the beat stick down on the Eagles. Michael Vick still woozy, so you know it's all good, man. Uh, college the Falcons caught it going uh, on, coming man. off for L, I, I believe. <laughs> the Falcons got it going on, man. They all right, man. Yeah, Falcons let's keep it moving. Right, <laughs> you know, uh, we got a uh, what we say? Alabama, LSU, Oklahoma, Boise State, Stanford. Some of your top college teams. Uh, man. Some some movie news. Brad Pitt got a new movie coming out. Yeah, Money Ball. Money Ball. Uh, Jonah Hill also in that movie. It's uh, man. about the the athletics, the Oakland Athletics of the nineteen eighties. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. based on a true story. How they came up doing computer stats and all this geek stuff, but it was the truth. Uh, what else? <laughs> what else we got going on? Oh uh, man, Lion King dropping, okay. abduction, oh, Killer Elite, Contagion with Matt Damon. The help still out, Columbiana still out, man. These are all good movies. I done checked them all out. And That's if a lot. You, if you go watch them, man. If you have not yet seen Eighth Grade Hallway, please oh, yeah. do so. Go to absolutely youtube.com backslash scorpionfish P R O D and check out Eighth Grade Hallway, the full movie. It's a leak, so it's not gonna be up there for too much longer. So make sure you go check it out. Go check it out. Also, man, Charlie Sheen just got a settlement for two and a half men firing him. 25 million could possibly be a hundred million. Winning. <laughs> winning. That's what you call winning. But man, that's that's what's going on right now in the world. I tell you what, man, I'm about to get back to this good Mabel's. I gotta get back. Gotta get some more. That's all I can think about. I you know blew my side. whole check in here. Come here, little West. On ribs. <laughs> Man, shout out to everybody that helped oh, yeah. us out, oh, man, yeah. with shout the out season. To Nefertiti. Yes, absolutely, Quay. man. Shout out to the Mabel. Shout out to the 1280 West Peace Tree. Absolutely. Shout out to Eric. Jamaican flavor. I mean, the Jamaican flavor. Uh, Coco, Buns, Dame. Everybody. Everybody, man. man. If, you had, if you was part of the making of this really real show, man, we, we love you. Well, Shout out to Lil West, everybody. Shout out to my baby girl and my girl, Jessalyn, Jamise. I love y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the really real show, man. This, like I said, this is the season finale. But make sure you stay tuned because we got some oh, big stuff coming up in season well, that's two. Season two. Oh. It's, it's gone. We already in the lab hard. Oh. Hard, boy. We see y'all there. Yeah, this is a really real show, man.
cards live back my home. Show that I'm broke, her ankle bone. Just to get with me alone. And after that, I said back, back. And please do not hit up my phone. Cause if you do, I won't be there. But you can talk to my dial tone. Come on, but we all fuck your chain. We off the hook. She give me brain and like the read. And I call that right there Facebook. We fresh as hell. Come take a look. I'm in that castle with the crooks. I said that backwards, crooks and castles. High as rockets. We on NASA. I got a little blow in the side of control. Just like an airhead, I go dumb. What I'm hearing is so stupid. Off the hook and it ain't crunk. Everybody geeked up and they drunk. Off the heezy, that what's up. If you gone and it's your song, we off the hook just like a worm. Call boys off the hook. Got the club off the hook. Hit me up, I'm off the hook. Everybody off the hook. She took the bait off the hook. Now she shaking off the hook. She be quaking off the hook. Now I'm gone off the hook. 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 Everybody off the hook. 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 Can't catch me, I'm off the hook. Niggas wanna hate, must got me shook. I don't give a damn about how I look on a paper chase trying to get these bucks. I'm off the hook just like a phone. Hit another planet, yeah, we on. Loud smoke covering the ozone. Come on, boys, yeah, we on. And I bet they like this song. Bring it on, let me see that tone. Seen it out just like a phone. But we roll, better be that strong. Mr. 2 3, catch me in my zone. Posty dog, catch me in my home. Getting it in on the microphone. Rapping all day till the sun is gone. Gotta get it in. Take it in.